Hello, today I'm going to show you how to rig your own custom map objects for GTA San Andreas. First of all, what you need for this is um, Autodesk 3ds Max 2008 or newer. It doesn't matter if it's 32-bit or 64-bit. Cam's GTA scripts for 3ds Max. Um, and any image editing tool. Personally, I recommend either Spark SA or Alcy's image editor. Um, map editor. Notepad. TXD builder. And freeids.txt. All those should be in the description below. So first what we're going to need to do is import our custom model into 3ds Max. Now for this one I'm going to use this tree. Now depending on your model, um, it may or may not be textured. This model already is textured. How do you know if your model is textured or not? Well, if it is untextured, it appears, well, pure grey. If your model is untextured, what you need to do is um, drag and drop the texture onto it. Um, basically how you do that is you press M to bring up this little window here. Then drag and drop the texture onto one of these balls and then drag the ball onto your model like so. And now what we need to do then is um, once your model is fully textured, import our GTA San Andreas model. Now for this one I'm going to use this, um, well, a San Andreas tree obviously. What we need to do is we need to shrink or enlarge our model to be the exact same size as our San Andreas one. I just realised I messed this up a bit. <laughs> Go to scripts, GTA DFFIO, then when this window pops up we click on import DFF, and then click on import DFF again. Now for this one, um, as I mentioned before, I'm going to use this San Andreas tree called elmredpo.dff. Now, I've just imported it, but I can't see it. Well, I can see it now. <laughs> but I mean, from this angle, I couldn't see it. This is because this model, my custom model, is larger than the average San Andreas model. So what we're going to need to do is resize it. To do this, right click, we click on scale. Now just remember, um, like I said, depending on your model, your model may be bigger or smaller. So you may not need to do this step. But just in case you do, remember, hold in the middle and move your mouse downwards to make it smaller and move your mouse upwards to make it bigger. Obviously we want to make this about the same size as our San Andreas model, so we're going to shrink it a little bit. I think that should do just fine. So then what we need to do is attach our custom model to the San Andreas model. So for this we click on modify. Then we click on our San Andreas model. We click on vertex. You see these blue dots on the model. Then press control and A. And then click attach. Depending on your screen resolution you may need to scroll down a little bit on this side here. Basically, under Edit Geometry, click Attach, and then click on your custom model. In this window that pops up, select Match Material to Material IDs, then select OK, and then press Delete. Now what you need to do is we need to go into this window here, scroll all the way down till we see Skip Coal. Tick that, and then select Export DFF. And we give our custom model a name. So for this one, we'll call it tree. Actually, wait a minute, I'll just call it N64 tree. And now what we need to do is make the collision for it. And to do this, right click, convert to editable mesh. Then we click, well, we press M again. And on this one here, Well, we need to find a ball that isn't in use, so it should say 07 default. Click on standard, and then click on GTA coal surface. Now, what we need to do here is we need to say what type of um, environment the model is. Sorry if that made no sense, but what we need to do is uh, keep going up. Tarmac, tarmac fucked, tarmac really fucked, pavement... Gravel, painted ground, grass, 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 grass. 
So as this is a tree, we'll probably want to go for either grass or tree. They've got that. Yeah, vegetation, there we go. Then we just drag and drop this ball onto our model. It depends on the type of ball you use. It may or may not be a different colour, like for example, now it's sort of like very, very faint purple. And what we need to do then is go to Max Script, Run Script, click on GTA Col.io, then click on Collision Mesh, and then click on our model. Now, as you see here, it should say Elm Red Poe, Elm Red Poe. And type in your custom model name here. So ours was N64 Tree. Click on Export. And then we type in N64 Tree. I just want to say that before we continue this, um, San Andreas can only hold up to two custom collision models before it crashes. I think there's a way you can bypass this using the limit adjuster, but um, I'm just going to say that if you if you have, say, two custom maps installed, oh well, two custom maps that use two custom collision files, and then your San Andreas crashes halfway through, you may want to import your collision into an existing um, collision file. But for this tutorial, we're using a barely modded San Andreas anyway. Anyway, what we need to do after we've made the collision is, well, exit or minimize it at 3ds Max. And let's have a look at our collision. So for me, this would be in GTA SA Tools. Open up Collision Editor. Click on Col Editor 2. File. Open. And then we look at N64 Tree Col. There we go. So our collision looks perfectly fine. Now what we need to do is make the texture. And TXC Builder is arguably the easy, well, not easy. It's easy to use and it's the best tool I can recommend for, for well, for San Andreas. Because basically what you do is you just plug, well, you just, well, sorry. <clears throat> basically you just put all of your files, well, all your texture files into a single folder, tell TXD Builder where it is, and it pretty much does it all for you. So what we need to do is you click on Browse and select the folder of all our textures. So for me, this would be N64 Tree. Just click this. And then make sure all these are selected. Just going to say that if you use a JPEG format for your textures, you will need to uh, convert them to either DDS, PNG, BMP, or TGA. Doesn't really matter about the compression. And of course, we want to make sure this is set to GTA San Andreas. Although the tool does also support, support Vice City and GTA 3. Then click on Do It. Depending on how many textures um, you use, this may take a short while, but because we only used, um, I think it's like three textures. Yeah, we only used like one texture in this. You know, it's done pretty much instantly. So there we go. Oh yeah, we just need to rename this to N64 Tree as well. So there we go. Now what we need to do is we need to import it into San Andreas. So what we do is um, we open up Alcy's image tool, Alcy's image editor, or Spark SA, or whatever tool you prefer to use. Go to File, Open, and open up your GTA 3 image. And your GTA 3 image is obviously in your San Andreas folder and in the Models folder. Double click this. And then click on Import. And then we go all the way down to, um, where is it? N64 Tree, N64 Tree, N64 Tree. Import all three of your files. Click Open. And then click save okay now what we need to do is we need to add in a custom definition in the ID line so we now need to go to our GTA San Andreas folder so for me this would be B applications standalone games GTA SA for you it might be in um, program files 86 Rockstar games or wherever you stored it basically so we need to go to San Andreas data maps um, depending where you want to have your custom model, you can choose any folder. This is what I'm going to choose LA. I'm going to choose LAE2. Now we need to scroll all the way down to the very bottom. And we need to hit enter below this line here. We need to open up freeids.txt and select any one of these line, well, any one of these numbers here. So for this one, let's go with um, 18,135. Put a comma. And then we just type in our model name again, N64 tree. Comma, N64 tree. 
another comma, 299 and 0. Press control on this. And now what we need to do is open up map editor and manually import our custom model. So then we go to map editor and if it's the very first time you have ran map editor you will need to specify where your GTA San Andreas is located. For me I've already did this. Just click on browse, well edit, then browse, and then just select where your San Andreas folder is and then click OK. So what we need to do is click on IPL and click on any IPL you want. Um, just so you know, I recommend um, doing a test render of all IPL files first. You know, so you know what um, IPL file covers what area. For example, LAE2 um, covers, say, I think it's like East Los Santos. And LA, well, LAW covers like the west side of Los Santos and all that. So I'm going to click on LAE2.IPL. Click on scene. Then click on LAE2.IPL again. Or whatever IPL file you selected. Click on render. Now I will just say this, that map editor is extremely laggy. Well, I know it doesn't look it on my screen, but on lower end machines it will be very, very laggy. I do not recommend it at all. Basically hold shift to go a bit faster and select where you want to spawn your custom model. I'm going to spawn the custom model in Grove Street. So I'm just going to go right into the middle of Grove Street. Right click, new search and type in your custom model name so n64 tree there we go there's our custom model click ok now there's our custom model just so you know um as i said for map editor is extremely buggy so your map model sorry your model may appear miles away it might appear really close it may appear way below the ground it may appear way above the ground so what we need to do is um well just mess around with these this here to we actually get it on the floor Z deals with like, well, as you can see here, make it up or down. Y moves it to the left or to the right. And X moves it forwards or to the back. So what we're aiming for here is we're aiming to just move this up a little bit. Down very slightly. And there we go. Then we just click OK. Now we just click on edit, save install, and then save changes. And then we're done, basically. However, um, before you even think of signing up San Andreas, I always recommend you check your GTA San Andreas installation folder as well. Because I've had, it, I've had um, a few occasions where I've made some changes in Map Editor, saved it, but it never saved. So what we do is go to Data again, Maps. Then go to the folder where your IPL is located. So for me, this would be lae2.ipl. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. Ah, and it's added it for me. N64 tree. If you see your custom model, if you don't, if you do not see your custom model here, then um, make sure your file is not set, is set to well, not set to read only. So once you've done all that, you can start up San Andreas and let's see our custom model in action. At least it was before I fucked everything up. 